Okay, we're going to make this strange looking building here with the base of 60 feet by 60 feet and a height of 40 feet. All right, so loading up SketchUp, we want to make sure that we select the template, which is in um, English units, in this case, feet like that. Start using SketchUp. And you can leave the guy uh, in place right there. You could go to the window and make sure that it's in feet. We don't need that many digits. Let's just say uh, zero with a single quote like that. Then we're going to make the base 60 feet by 60 feet. So we start and then type 60 single quote comma 60 single quote enter. And it shows us the base of the building like so. Move it over in this area here. And we're going to go 20 feet high first of all because we want to go 20 feet to there and then we can raise the roof over there. Okay, so let's go 20 feet up. 20 feet, raise the roof. Okay. Now, um, I guess we've got to figure out how far in that um, wall is there. If this is 10 and 30, so that's 40. So it looks like we have 20 feet left over right there. If you do that, uh, so let's go, I guess we can do it from any direction we want. Uh, I guess we can just go in this direction here. I'm typing in 20 single quote enter have the line like that let's look at this surface a little bit better rectangle red X push pull going up 20 feet raising the roof again okay I think we have to come in 10 feet from each of these edges let's double check yeah, it looks like it's 10 feet all around, so tape measure. Oops, I wasn't supposed to hit click twice. Click once and then type in 10 single quote enter. That didn't seem to work, so I'll try from the other side. 10 single quote. Going back to this side. Rectangle. Red X. Red X. Push pull, push it down just a little bit, and we know that we have to go 20 feet down, so 20 single quote enter pushes that all the way through. We also give this some texture, so let's go to materials and let's load up some bricks this time. And I'll let you pick any uh, texture that you want. I'm just going to select this gray brick, like so. You can double click and highlight. Double click, click. Okay, and then maybe even put some different texture on the, the roof. All right, so we still have our guy standing right there. Um, rather than putting dimensions on this, let's just play around with it a little bit. Like I said, you can put any texture you want to on here. I'm not uh, particular for this uh, exercise. Get a little bit creative. Um, how about we add some more things uh, so that we get a sense of scale of this strange looking building that we have here. Sense of scale. How about window and then components? And then we can grab any one of these things like a car and just drag it out here, put it in front. Um, I guess you could say this is kind of like a courtyard area in the middle. Um, I don't know, something like a picnic table and plop it right in there somewhere. But you can just go crazy with this. You don't have to kind of make it make sense. I think I'll put some street lamps out too right here and uh, in that spot I think there is a way to scale these as well so that the street lamps are much higher and what you might try is to rotate uh, this around so let me see if I can show you how to do that 
Okay, and to rotate one of these components, what you can do is uh, select the component using that arrow and then uh, the rotate tool. This up here will actually measure the angle, but we're interested in rotating, so we're clicking here. And you can get this protractor, and if you see that it's in the plane in which you want to rotate it, uh, then you hit, you click. But you can also see other planes, like, uh, let's see if I can get on another plane. This would rotate it a different way, but we want to rotate it about the vertical axis. So I'm going to select there. I'm going to come out this way. I'm going to click and then rotate around. Maybe that wasn't the best thing to do about the rotation angle. I'm going to hit Control Z. Try that again. Oops. Put the part back on there. Oops. Hit Escape again. So I can get the part selected. Hmm. Seems to want to rotate it around this big circle like that. Not really sure why. Well, I guess that'll be okay. Let's try it one more time. Maybe if I click out in that direction, rotate it around this way. And then stop right about there. Then I can grab the part the component. There we go. And use move move it into this position over here as if a road was going this direction and that that way for example and this is kind of interesting selecting the part and uh, clicking on the expand or scale clicking it like that uh, adds several street lamps in there kind of scales it out that's interesting do the same thing with that one I suppose and then uh, move it to another position, like so. But uh, from here, just go crazy with it. Uh, you know, just put mailboxes everywhere, people standing around, get creative with it. Um, oh yeah, put some trees out there. All right, and save this file, upload it to your um, account. And let me know if you have any questions.